He is God. He, he was 100% man when he stood the ground. When he prayed the most. Just to give us a reminder and a message that if you're standing on this ground, you must pray. Because prayer is not a feeling. It's not when you feel like praying. It's not when I feel like praying. It's not when I'm in trouble. Prayer is a need. Even Jesus prayed. He is God. When he prayed. Because he stands. He stands. He stood on the same ground. How can that be so clear to us, your people? Your son gave us the greatest example of a prayerful man or a prayer. But yet, it was true that instead of the prayer scaring our lives, we're making prayer despair. Lord, nothing can be done apart from prayers. Nehemiah did. He did a lot of prayers. Before the wall got built, he prayed a lot. And his prayer was about 75%, and the work was only 25% of it. But it was you, oh God. And so we come humbly before you. Teach us your ways, Lord. For who among us know everything? We only know a part. We are even ashamed to share the part that we know. Because we don't want to be inaccurate to what you told us. We, want to over, we don't want to oversay. Nor we don't want to undersay. We want to say what you said. Because we are your people. We are afraid. We fear you, Lord. We fear you, Lord. We fear the Lord. Amen, people of God. We fear the Lord. Because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the wisest man and woman on earth are those who fear the Lord. Wisdom. Give us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help your people. We pray for this day, Lord. We pray for this day, Lord. We pray for ourselves that we can pray. We pray for ourselves that we can call the living God, the mighty God. That heaven show ears today. Our cries touch us today. All the days of our life until you take our breath away. We come for nothing with nothing. We come nothing. We come nothing before you, O oh God. We lift up the name of Jesus. The name above all names. Jesus, Lord, here we are standing where you want us to be today. This is a divine appointment. 